time for the Press Box, where I'm joined by Mary Romanger to talk sports. Let's get right to it. With tonight's double overtime loss with four games left, can the Spurs avoid the worst record of 20-62 set in 1997? Right now, the Spurs are 19-59, and Mary. They play at Memphis, at OKC, then they will host Denver and Detroit. What do you think? That's tough. I was born in 1997, so the fact that that was their historic worst Okay, year. so I can blame you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can blame yeah. me. Um, they've shown that they're more than capable of winning at least two of the last four games as long as they don't play down to the competition when they play Memphis and Detroit but the race at the top of the west between the Nuggets OKC and Minnesota right now is so tight like a one game difference so they can do some damage that being the Spurs if they get a a win against one of those two teams I feel like they're going to win at least one of the last four games I would say two of four if they had all their players going but we know a couple other guys are out for the rest of the season so I think they're going to at least get one win and they will tie that record I'm hoping they get two wins though (laughs) Akshay Batia needed a sudden death playoff to win the Valero Texas is open today. He dominated the VTO until Denny McCarthy went nine under today to force a 73rd hole. On top of that, Batia had his left shoulder taped after it popped out of the socket. How crazy was this final round, Mary? Absolutely unbelievable. Was it? Batia has a fan in me. He was so fun to watch. <laughs> he's so uh, poised. He's he's very impressive. Funny enough, McCarthy finished the way Batia started by shooting yeah. a 63. So it's interesting how that flipped. And Batia's best moments, 2-0 and in playoffs, are McCarthy's worst because he's 0-2 and, and he's still searching for his first PGA Tour win. So, wow, very dramatic. I, fans, right. golf fans here got an amazing Texas Valero. And I'll tell you, Batia, he has a shoulder problem, he said during his interview, his left shoulder. But how tough is that? It pops out when you're celebrating. You put it back in. You get it taped up and you go on to hit the putt to win it. So that was pretty darn cool. Caitlin Clark's incredible college career has come to an end. Iowa lost to South Carolina 87-75 in the championship game today. Clark will likely go number one in the WNBA draft. Mary, will she have immediate success in the WNBA or face a stiff learning curve? I think I have three reasons why she will have an easy transition. One, she plays a full game already, so she has the endurance. She has incredible work ethic. She's incredibly competitive. So in those ways, smooth transition, but where she will have to tighten up is um, is she's going to face another level of offensive players. So defensively, she's going to have to figure that out. She's going to face some grown women who have played in the WNBA for a long time. So I think she's going to have a pretty steep learning curve, but she's definitely (laughs) going to be fun to watch. And that's going to do it for the Press Box.